Hey guys, Zogi Sanch here and welcome to the channel. Hope you guys are having a fantastic week and you have been enjoying a breaker as much as I have. We have actually managed to push it up to 1600 in week one, 15 in day one. So in this video, I'm going to share with you guys my experiences of playing breaker. Was it worth it? How I enjoy it? I'm going to show you my breaker, what I've got on him, gems, engravings, you know, holidays. We're going to show you guys everything pretty much like a little roster update, not so much focusing on the roster just focusing on the breakers so we could name this something like breaker diary or something so breaker diary page one entry one this is it if you guys would like to see it all and hear my experiences on the breakers stick around for the video so without further ado let's hop straight into it so if you guys have been following my channels on youtube and twitch you know that i was going to main swap to breaker and i was pretty set on it and i have been saving gold and materials and stuff for like the last month or so when i actually decided to fully commit to this and we saved up around 640k gold i think in total and we saved up like a bunch of all the free uh, materials from the event stuff from all the challenge guardians the arc path or vent shop everything we just saved the toad pretty much we bought out the gold gold shop on the toad every single week we put that in the stash and that's how we managed to get our breaker up now we did burn through pretty much all of those materials and if i can show you guys in the background there is my this is where i had all my stuff saved and this is what's left of the materials we have a lot of juice materials left we have a lot of books as well and then we have a lot of redstones because we haven't actually made the akan weapon yet we'll be making the akan weapon this reset we'll actually go ahead and run akan again so we can actually craft the weapon to get to 1600 we have to craft three armor pieces and push them up to 1620 to actually get to 1600 in a profitable way or in a what do you call it an efficient way without like getting this to 1650 and then everything else to like 1590 on the brawl gear so that is the most efficient way to do it push three armor pieces to 1620 so that is how we did that we got, took all of our materials we are we still have quite a bit of gold left We've got 130k left after running gold raid so next week that obviously go up to like i make about 100k or more per week with my gold earners so yeah we'll have some more gold next week to actually funnel and we did actually push up my sork to 1600 as well this week so there was about another 150k gold gone on the sork that we could have saved for the breaker but we wanted to do it because we wanted to start building up the sorks uh, elixirs on ivory tower so that is where we're sitting at gold wise honor shirts now this was basically zero until yesterday until yesterday when we actually hit the 1600 on breaker we were so down bad for honor shards we have been buying out the mari shop we've been buying out the orias the honor shards we're buying out everything i haven't actually bought out now since yesterday when we actually did it but if you see earlier there we were buying out pretty much all the stuff also by the way this is a super deal right now these orea fusion materials the 45 uh, blue crystals where you get 50 of these really good deal you should hop on those if you are pushing any characters or you can also just save them in your product inventory and pull them out on whichever characters you want so go ahead and grab yourself those really good value and then all the large punches on the honor shards as well so materials wise that is where we're sitting this is what we have left uh in the stash okay let's see we do we do still have a lot over there i think we had like 200,000 of these going in so we have burnt a lot keep in mind we did push our sork to uh, 1600 as well from like 1590 and there's our weapon stones these are waiting for the breaker tomorrow on reset and then this there's no materials there well there's a little bit of materials here and there but this is mainly just other stuff see there's some materials over there but this is like lower tier materials that i don't actually want to go ahead and convert because it'll be a pretty bad conversion if i was converting the these like for example these like the, the there's three tiers of tier one i mean there's tier three there's the three different types that's like this the starter one this one and this one we did convert all of these into these as well for the breaker so we would open boxes that gave these materials to convert into those but i think converting from there straight down to there is actually a bad move that's why we haven't actually gone ahead and done that i just put those boxes back into some like some other characters can use those they would like to need those so that's what we have waiting for the weapon event wise we can buy out the golden frog we still have all of these boxes for the weapon as well we used one on the sork just to get it the sork actually got her white glow back on the account weapon so she got really lucky that i one tapped the 17 to 18 so really huge on the sork we used one book and we got it but the rest of these is all going towards the breaker i used all of this on the breaker all of the armor stuff was used on the breaker obviously we finished out the 1580 event on the breaker as well so we got all of these things we tapped out quality now quality we probably spent about 50k gold on our quality after the free taps and we landed up with 99 on the helm awesome we got 78 on the shoulders we got 70 on the chest i still need to push that one up a little bit 
75 on the pants and 92 on the gloves and the weapon unfortunately doesn't want to go into purple so my plan with this weapon is to maybe when we craft our Khan piece uh, tomorrow when we make our Khan weapon see what that quality rolls at and give it a tap there maybe we get lucky maybe not otherwise we'll just have to keep pushing this up until it at least gets purple it just has to go like 90 or something and then i'll probably stop touching the weapon but we've got other more important things to worry about now like obviously we need a shroud so we stop spending gold on quality because overall i think that quality is pretty decent and it's already cost me like 50k gold already so that's good enough for now accessories we are just using random accessories we found on like all our characters with really high stats as you can see we have 1808 crit and we just have like high quality accessories from our alts and we are using the engraving support there's also a bug right now with engraving support where this pretty much resets whenever I change zone or I do any instance or anything. It's really annoying. Like if I join a raid, it resets. It will show that it's there, but it won't actually be working. And an easy way to tell is this will actually be yellow instead of red. And if you had it fully built up, it would be yellow like the normal default color. It would be red if you have Ashura's path. And also you can hear the sound cue when you actually use your skills like that. Uh, different ones actually build up gauge. So it's pretty easy to tell it's not working all you got to do then is go to engraving you gotta toggle it and toggle it back on and then it actually works you see when i toggle it off it is yellow toggle it back on it is red so just make sure you check that on your breaker or whatever character you are using some people are having this issue some people are not i i seem to be one of the unfortunate ones that actually are having the issue so it's pretty annoying hopefully they fix it with this hotfix otherwise we'll have to figure out somewhere we'll probably have to build ourselves a character you know build our five by three plus one but that means I'll be fully committing to Ashura's Path. And I'm not totally sold right now on Ashura's Path. I mean, I really do enjoy it. Um, doing a Khan, I actually did a Khan. Uh, we did our first Khan, and I got Scroll Fighter on gates two and three. I believe on gate one, we got upright. Yeah, gate one, we got upright. And then two and three, we got Cruel Fighter. And then we did Ivory Tower. We got Fighter on gate one because Ivory Tower sucks. Gate one, she spins around so much. I'll have the footage playing for you guys in the background. And then gate two on the dragon we died a couple of times being greedy and like learning the patterns and stuff on break and where we could and could where we could and could not read and you know just learning it as a front of the heck was pretty interesting but we did underline on gate two as upright so we got the most damage on gate two gate three i think we did fighter again or maybe we might have upright i think we got all upright on gate three with the bull man actually maybe not maybe and then on gate 4, we got upright again, coming in second behind Mr. Bruley on his crazy slayer. Shout out to Mr. Bruley for helping me out this week. And shout out to everybody else on the stream as well that you guys have been helping me out so much with the breaker. We pretty much ran our breaker through all of the raids with the stream to the, uh, this week. So shout out to the stream. If you guys would like to join in on the raids and the fun, come on over to twitch.tv slash I'd love to see you guys all there. We have a lot of fun. It's a small little group of us. We have a lot of fun. We're actually going to be doing like a little thing. We're going to be starting to build a group for Theamine pretty soon. Be interviewing people and checking people out and, you know, seeing where we mesh. And if we get together well, I'm going to obviously be bringing in the breaker. And we have a few people from the stream that we're going to put in the group as well. So if you guys are interested in that, come on over to the stream, talk to me, hop in the Discord. I'm going to make like a whole application and stuff later so we can actually get that done. That is for Theamine, probably normal mode in the beginning because I don't think I'll be able to get to 1630 in time. But we'll see how it all goes. So that is that. And then back to Ashura. So that was my experience on Ivory, Akan, Braushaza. I think we got MVP on some of them. I can't remember. Because Braushaza, I mean Braushaza is Braushaza. It's pretty easy content on like anything, even while learning it. Because we've done it. We've done Braushaza so many times. We could all do it with like our eyes closed. And I do think we had like a bunch of 16, 20 juices in there. So there was like no chance for me over there. But it was still fun playing the breaker and learning it on those fights. So yeah, that brings me to do I like Ashura over Kingfist? The thing is, I haven't tried Kingfist yet. But from what I see on Kingfist and the videos and I've seen Benji play it, I'm pretty sure if I play Kingfist, I probably won't change back to Ashura. So that's why right now I'm going to play Ashura until I absolutely just can't stand it. I do have like however long the engraving support lasts we have until I think it's like three months or so. Oh, they're 0717. Yeah, that's like a good three months. Let's actually go ahead and try out Ashura. And then once I'm fully decided on Ashura, we will go ahead and build our 5x3 plus 1 and start rolling some stones. Let's see what we can get. But for now, I'm going to ride the Ashura train all the way because I know it just takes a lot of practice to get really good at it. And it's really fun. I do enjoy it. I just, I mean, it's hard, but yeah, like anything fun and good is always hard. Nothing is easy, so you got to try for it, work for it, 
and i like to see the improvements so i'd like to see my next breaker diary whenever we make that video about the follow-up this will be like breaker diary one page one you know week one of breaker what do you feel like it i really enjoy it assure it's really hard but the potential is insane i can see it being one of the craziest class i mean it is like s tier right now it might even be stronger than blade after the nerf to blade i have no idea but the last time i seen anything about numbers wise and tls wise Ashura Breaker was top dog right up there with the Surge Deathblade. So I do enjoy it. And then if I don't like fully enjoy it, or if like Theamine is just crazy hard, I have Kingfist to fall back on. Because Kingfist, I mean, Kingfist is not that hard from what I've seen. I haven't actually tried it yet. I should actually go try it in Trixion pretty soon. But yeah, it doesn't look too crazy complicated. Mine it just looks like, it just looks like, you know, kind of similar to Ignite Assault, develop your gauge, you unload your two big hits, boom, boom, and then. You do have a lot more movement than Ignitasaur because I mean Ignitasaur literally doesn't have any movement skill besides her spacebar. It's also on a pretty long cooldown. I mean you do have the blink but if you guys play Ignitasaur you know you you don't want to use that blink unless you're going to die kind of a situation. Whereas Breaker you know I'm pretty sure you probably use this skill uh, Brawl King's Advance on Kingfist so that's a movement skill on its own. And just that small little bit to help move you out of things is all you need sometimes on a spec class. That's kind of like why it's so rough for the Igniter Store. But that is my stance on the Breaker. So I've showed you guys, I've given you guys my thoughts. There is all our qualities, our stats. Oh, I didn't show you guys my bracelet. We got a crit swiftness assail bracelet, so nothing crazy. But the stats on it was pretty high. I mean, the swift is literally maxed out, so that's really cool there. And we almost have maxed out swift on the next so we have 675 swift really high swift over there and then we'll see what happens once i actually get my own accessories we cut a bunch of other bracelets um we have a few that's pretty decent so we kept them all to play around and we got there's a strength uh, crit swiftness with fervor on it uh what else do we get we got there's a good one that we're keeping for king first we got spec grit wedge on it so we're gonna hold that for king first and then those are just some more stat ones there Oh, there's another one with strength for it, a sail and hammer, but no swiftness on that. So we need to actually go chuck these all into the calculator and see which one is actually the best one for me to use. Oh, and elixirs I can show you guys as well. So let's have a look at our elixirs. We actually had chat cut all our elixirs for us because these were the free ones you got from the road uh, event. So we got strength attack power, a 1-3 over there, not the greatest. We got a 1-3 over there, strength additional, and then a 4-1 over there with the critical set. We do have another one with a level 4 master somewhere. That we are saving for unless we get like another masterpiece because we don't have these two pieces on not a Khan yet so we can't actually put elixirs on them yet until maybe I actually put those two to a card next week maybe we'll do the weapon we'll have to see what happens and also let me show you guys the event of yeah the road to theamine quest we did get the 1600 chest so we got all the goodies in there and then we did get the next chest which is this one of here if you guys want to have a look to see what you get inside the chest the 16 this is for uh, so we got that was the one for 1600 right this is the chest there you get that and then obviously you do get the 1605 chest so let's go have a look at what's inside the 1605 chest these are all the things in the 1605 chest a lot of materials silver and then you get the 1610 chest you do actually get a bunch of legendary elixirs in there so that is really nice for you guys i think that might actually be locked to like 1620 to open the legendary one but i have to see once we get there so there is just two more extra boxes you get once you actually get to 600 on the quest over there. So that is that for our breaker story. And you guys can see everything. Gems. Oh, gems as well. We got two level 9 damage gems, a level 9 cooldown, level 8 damage, and then just the rest are all event gems. So we're going to work on trying to get... We really want to gamble for the level 10 Ashura, but then we'd lose all three of these uh, level 9 damage gems. Or like, we'll just lose all three of these level 9s instead. So we're going to kind of wait until we have some more level 9s before we go ahead and roll that for the 10 i think we do have some gems yeah yeah we got some gems building up again and if you guys know i have literally hundreds of cubes that needs running so i have a lot of cubes backed up that we can actually go ahead and get and then we're going to gamble the level 10 on stream so join on in for that it'll be some fun to see how that turns out hopefully we get a level 10 damage gem right off the bat it would be really good but that's going to be it for this video i feel like i've ranted on long enough let me know what you guys think of this little story about my breaker and my progress so far on breaker. Let me know how your guys' progress is going on your breaker. Have you main swapped? Is it an alt? How's your honing gone? Was it actually pretty good? Was it pretty bad? Let us know. Join the streams, join the Discord, join everything. Links are all in the description, so check those all out. And if you like this video, please drop a like and a sub to the channel. It helps me out so much, and I'll catch you beautiful people in the next one. Okay, say now. Run free.
and dive into the sky. Hear the wind crying.